Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today I want to talk about the Dunu Titan S. And this comes in at a price of $80. It's kind of setting the standard at that price as well as the other one, which is Moondrop Aria, another IEM that's really well known. So today I'm gonna to talk about this one. I'll probably do a comparison to that one from memory. And let's talk about why the Dunu Titan S is so good. So this thing is tuned so like immaculately well. It just sounds so clear and it's so just like the definition of like neutral. Like it is tuned so well, it's kind of amazing. And I think this can hit a lot of boxes for a lot of people. So we're gonna talk about how great this is and then maybe who this might not be for and get into those details. Another thing I want to talk about is Dunu as a company is really amazing. I actually had listened to their IEMs at um, CanJam SoCal and they're really nice and they walked me through like basically their whole entire lineup. So that's why I was really interested in trying one of their products. So I actually purchased this one myself. Anyways, let's talk about this, the build, what it comes with, and then we're going to talk about the sound and then we're going to do some comparisons. So as always, please like and subscribe down below. Helps my videos out. You don't want to miss out on more like headphone reviews and tech reviews and stuff like that. So it has this nice aluminum shell. It's not that big. I feel like a lot of IEMs kind of get a little big. I feel like Dooney does a really good job in designing theirs to be quite small so I don't feel like they're overwhelming your ear and they're quite light. So that's something I really like about their design. This one obviously hooks over your ear and kind of dangles like this, right? And the build looks really cool. It's, it looks very futuristic and it's light. So I don't really have a problem with this at all, fitting in my ear. That's the thing about Dooney, like I said, is like their fit is just like magical because they put a lot of care into that. So this cable is really nice. It's one of the nicer ones at this price point of like $80. And you can kind of see it kind of goes down into this part, which kind of prevents it from snapping. And then it terminates into a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. So it's nothing uh, too fancy. You can use an adapter if you need to plug into an amplifier. And yeah, it's a very, very nice looking IEM. And we can talk about the case it comes with too. Now the case it has is this case, which looks really nice. It's like this nice kind of leatherette-ish type of case, which I was very surprised to even get something like this. For $80, I feel like you go to like those, you know, fancy stores and they try to sell you one of these things for like $80. So you can IEM plus one of these cases, which is nice. And then inside you get a bunch of different um, tips. And essentially you get these kind of, I guess, fatter tips, which are these blue ones that you get. And then you also get these red ones that are a little bit more kind of compact. And this is the ones I have on mine currently. And then you also get these kind of clear tips as well. So there's a lot of different choices to choose from and different sizes. So it comes with all of these accessories. So there's probably no way you won't find one that kind of matches your ear shape. As well as there's also a clip right here. If you want to clip it onto your shirt or something when you're walking around, if you don't want it to come loose. So that's also included. So. I would say for its price point, the accessories are very nice and I kind of appreciate kind of all those tips that kind of match someone's ear and preferences. So yeah, you have a lot to play with. All right, so how does the Dunu Titan S sound? So if I had to describe the Dunu Titan S sound, it's very neutral. So overall, it's like kind of crazy how well it defines the word neutral. Like it has a slight bass hum, just a very slight bass that makes the bass kind of very satisfying. You can hear the bass, you don't feel like you're missing out. At the same time, I'm not gonna say this is like a bass heads type of thing, because I think some people would like more bass in this and something like the Moodrop Aria will deliver in that front, whereas this one is like just enough bass where you won't feel like you're missing it, but not enough to get you like thumping if, you, if that's what you want, that like fun engaging type bass. This is not it for that level, but when you go into kind of the mid range and like the transition from the bass to the mids, I don't detect any like blow and I don't detect any warmth. Like I feel like it is the definition just like neutral. Like it sounds like it has a perfect transition between the bass and the mids, 
or like you know male vocalist sing and it's just like beautiful how well they kind of tune that i'm kind of amazed when i hear it myself i'm just like it just sounds like crystal clean and clear for like male vocalists and even female vocalists they just sound just immaculately well it sounds like natural in real life honestly that's how i feel like it sounds and it's quite amazing that this comes in a price of 80 dollars to achieve that type of tuning and like i said a female vocalists they sound clear but i would say because there's less bass i feel like to like compensate for this i feel like the vo female vocalists sound slightly like shouty like basically they're just a little bit like I won't say they're harsh, but they can kind of approach that harsh character like right on the line. And it could like make you turn down the volume a little bit sometimes. And it's very passable, it's really good. And I think it kind of adds to this extra like detail that this thing presents over like its competition, which it would be like the Moondrop Aria. I feel like that I am, because it has so much bass and less emphasis in the treble, I feel like it doesn't sound as clean and clear as the Dune Titan S. I feel like the Dune Titan S sounds more like classic audio file if that makes any sense so like those people who like the hd 600s you know i feel like they would like this more than they would like the moondrop aria the moondrop aria is like just like a bassy boy <laughs> that's the only way i can describe it like it has it's a v-shaped type of im versus it doesn't sound v-shaped like that does so at the 80 part of the price point there's really the dune titan s and the moondrop aria right and between these two it's really choosing between one that sounds more classically like audiophile neutral which sounds very clean clear and crisp and then there's like the the uh, Moodrop Aria which sounds more fun engaging a little bit more bassy and it doesn't sound really shouty at all actually and to me when I choose between those two it's like like I say one's clear but the other one is just Moodrop Aria I think it's a safer choice I feel like it's more consumer friendly it's more like the stuff you hear, like the Sony XM4, it reminds you of more of those like sounds that more consumers are used to. And I would say most people would like the Moondrop Aria probably more. And in, for myself, I would say I do think I like the Moondrop Aria a little bit more just because the tuning is a little bit more to my preferences. But I think the Dune Titan S just sounds clear overall because one of my biggest complaints of the Moondrop Aria was that in the treble region, I just felt like it wasn't as clear as other things I've heard. Like this sounds a lot more clear in the, like the upper treble region to me and it just comes out across like more clarity in general. So that's something that, you know, if you're a detail nerd, I would say the Dune Titan S is probably your cup of tea. So I have to talk about soundstage and imaging on this uh, IEM. And the way I do it most of the time is now I just play games with it. So I play Valorant, I play a game and a deathmatch and stuff like that to kind of judge it. I feel like it's really easy for me to tell how good something is when I play a game like that. And so for this, I feel like the imaging is kind of, it's not perfect, it's not the best I've ever heard, but it's very, very good. So when things are kind of appear in front of me, they kind of sound like they're like right here. So they don't exactly sound like in their center which is okay, but not the best, like I said. And then I remember when I was playing games, someone was above me and they kind of jumped over my head. I couldn't really hear that. So it's kind of hard to tell as much kind of like height. And then when someone was in front of behind me, sometimes I got kind of confused if it was like in front or behind me. So I feel like the imaging could be a little bit better, but at the same time, I would say it's not perfect, but it's really, really good because I got first place in deathmatch, which is really good. And I also got first, I basically got like 30 plus kills in Valorant for the ranked game. So like this thing is really, really, really good. Like I think it performs well. And if someone wants one for playing games, I think it's definitely good. So I think that goes to the show for how good the imaging is, like soundstage, like how far things sound, how close they sound. I mean, I think it's an in-ear IEM. It's not really that impressive in that regard. Like I think any over-the-head headphone will still be a little bit better in those scenarios for both soundstage and imaging in my opinion. But if you want an IEM that does it, I think this does an adequate job. And in conclusion really is, do I recommend Dune Titan S? I would say yes. If you're, honestly, I feel like if you're trying to like make music and you want to have something sound super natural and not colored at all, this is it like this thing is amazing like i can't even describe like i said how well tuned it is for its price point it's kind of crazy and it's honestly an easy recommend for anybody 
to try out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Please like and subscribe down below. It really helps my videos out. I'm gonna make more headphone reviews and I'm starting to do some more microphone reviews as well. I have some coming along and some other stuff. I have a lot of DACs too that I have to like get through. Actually, I actually have like three of them on hand and they're all like a thousand dollars. So I gotta get through those as well. And I also have like, yeah, a lot of stuff that I need to review. So you know, just don't wanna miss out on that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.